It's the deadliest peacekeeping mission in the world, and whether it will be able to continue its operations hinges on the UN's decision to renew its mandate. MINUSMA was established in Mali in 2013 to stabilize the country and today employs some 15,000 blue helmets and police officers. But even so, the mission has faced increasing challenges in recent years. Its scope of action has been reduced by the ruling junta, who imposed a vast no-fly zone in the country in January, complicating UN operations. The perilous mission also faces high security risks in the region, especially in the north of the country, the stronghold of many armed jihadist groups. Already more than 150 MINUSMA personnel have been killed, a situation only made worse in recent months by the gradual withdrawal of the French military. This Monday, French troops made their departure from Menaka, a dangerous region that the junta in power does not control. The Malian state controls 15% of its territory today, 10% from the north and 21% from the center. These are very alarming figures. MINUSMA is requesting a one-year renewal of its mandate to continue operations in Mali.